How serious are blood clots for athletes? Well, this year's NBA Defensive Player of the Year award may go to this guy instead of Victor Wembanyama, whose season came to an end because of a blood clot. Young, healthy athletes typically don't develop blood clots, also known as deep vein thromboses. However, factors like trauma, immobilization, long-distance travel, or compression of a vein between a collarbone and a rib, often resulting from normal repetitive training and competing, can lead to their development. Victor Wembanyama, the reigning NBA Rookie of the Year, was recently diagnosed with a blood clot in his right shoulder after experiencing shortness of breath for several days that didn't improve with rest. So why is a blood clot in the right shoulder serious enough to shut down one of the most valuable players in the NBA? Because blood clots can break free and end up getting stuck in one of the blood vessels of the lungs and can cause worse problems like these and even worse than those, possibly death. But even if the blood clot plays nice and remains in the shoulder, it reduces blood flow to shoulder muscles and tissues causing pain, swelling, and fatigue. So once diagnosed, athletes or anybody with a blood clot are put on blood thinners to keep the blood clot as small as possible, while a protein called plasmin puts full core pressure on the clot to break it down. This takes around three months, and since blood thinners increase the risk of bleeding, it's good to avoid contact sports, which means no balling for Victor. But if all goes well, he'll be back next season. As always, matchers come from peer-reviewed research.